evening everyone i hope all of you are doing fine all right so in our previous session we had seen about levels of organization yes the signs of self and i had probably given you a homework that which is the smallest human cell i hope you all worked on it to find the answer and i would probably I'll probably check that whether I have received or not this homework, small human cell. Yes. So we cover these topics. So today's topic is cell organelles. We'll be learning about the cell organelles. Now, what do you mean by organelles? They are the parts of a cell. Parts of cell. Okay. Cell organelles. So this, for example, here I'll read out some cell organelles: mitochondrion, ribosome, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, cell membrane, peroxisome, nucleus, Golgi complex, lipid droplet. You know, endoplasmic reticulum, lysosome, cytoskeleton, cytoplasm, cytosol. So these are basically the uh, organelles of a cell. Centriole. Okay. So these are the organelles of a cell, right? So we'll learn about each of them in detail. So first I would like to show you the cell organelles. So they are the cell membrane, mycosentines, endoplasmic reticulum, chloroplast, chromosome, cytoplasm, nuclear membrane, nucleolus, Plaster, vacuole, cell wall, Golgi bodies, or Golgi apparatus, or Golgi complex, mitochondria, lysosome, nucleoplasm, nucleus, and cytoskeleton. So many, you can, I hope you can, there are many more actually. If I, you know, name them 18, 25 were ribosomes, paroxysome, I think it's paroxysome. So there are many organelles. So we won't be covering much about we won't be covering about paroxysome in this because the basic cell organelles itself we will be covering like centrosome, centrioles, chromosome, centrosome, twentieth arrow, centrosome, many more. So I will set out a few of them. So I hope you'll enjoy this session. So let's proceed. Cell organelles and their functions. So the first is with the cell wall. That is the outermost covering we can say of the cell. I hope you can see this thick layer. This is the cell wall. Cell wall. They are present only in the plant cell. It's an important thing to know. Whenever you go with the differences between plant and animal cell, you must keep in mind that the cell wall is present only in the plant cell. It gives shape to the plant cell and makes it rigid. Rigid in the sense? Yes. It gives a proper shape. So plant cell, they are given shape by cell wall and animal cells by cell membrane. It helps to protect the cell from harsh environmental conditions like heat, rain, cold, wind, you know, high moisture, high temperature. So this, this cell wall basically gives them protection. gives them protection next they are exposed to these variations because they cannot move all right this is the cell wall the next thing is the cell membrane the cytoplasm and nucleus are enclosed within the cell membrane also called the plasma membrane so over here i hope you can see many organelles so over here also so this yellowish, I hope you can, inside the green layer, some kind of yellow layer also you can notice. Am I right? Yeah, so this is basically the cell membrane. Yes, that's a cell membrane. So you will notice that this cell membrane is also present in animal cells. This, this this is the cell membrane it has in mark see this cell this is the 
cell membrane, which is also present in the animal cell. Yes, cell membrane. The membrane separates cell from one another and also the cell from the surrounding medium. Yes, so it separates the cell from one another. So there are many cells, you know, placed. So this is the cell membrane. Okay, so it separates them from each other. The plasma membrane, which is also known as cell membrane, is porous and allows the movement of substances or materials both inward and outward. So this is the basic structure of a cell membrane. So it looks somewhat like this. So this cell membrane, it is porous. It has many pores. It allows the, it controls the entry and exit of substances. Controls entry and exit of substances. Exit of substances. It is selectively permeable. Now why do we call it as selectively permeable? Because only the necessary substances are allowed in the cell and the unnecessary are not allows only necessary materials or substances and not the unnecessary ones right so this is the cell membrane i hope you can notice many parts in it you don't have to go in much detail you have to just understand that what is it and was it, what is its function for now. The next is the cytoplasm. It is the jelly-like substance present between the cell membrane and the nucleus. I hope you can see this pink color, <clears throat> you know, kind of liquid which is present. Yes, this is the cytoplasm. <clears throat> This is the cell membrane as I told you. This is the cytoplasm. So here all the cell organelles are present. Various other components or organelles of cells are present in the cytoplasm. These are mitochondria, gravity bodies, ribosomes, etc. Many or all the other organelles of the cell are present in the cytoplasm. The bio biological reactions take place here. It has the elements like the cytosol. So it even contains the cytosol, which is one of the element, and some biological reactions or some chemical, some reactions also take place over here. So whenever you basically, you know, whenever you take in food, whenever you eat something, so it has to be synthesized so that your body can take it. So for that purpose, in each cell that synthesis takes place. How that process occurs, I'll be explaining that also. For now, you must understand the structure or the and the functions of the cell organs. So I hope you understood that what are what is the cell wall, cell wall, cell membrane, and the cytoplasm. For today, I'm going to stop till here. I want you to revise it and. Shall I give you some question? Some, any, any question? So I will give you one question. Kindly take it. The question is um, better to what we have learned. The question says name the elements present in cyto plasm. So one element I should uh, have already explained that it's the cytosol. So some elements which are present in cytoplasm. Okay, you can even name the organelles if you come across. And this is your homework. I can consider it to be your homework. But not that just for your practice, your fun. Yes. Yeah? So I hope you all enjoy. In our next session, we'll be learning more on the other, so other, you know, other organelles. Keep smiling. Thank you.